Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Hannibal Rising, starring Gaspar Yuliel. I don't know if I'm saying that right, please forgive me. Rise Ifans and Gong Li, directed by Peter Weber. Now, I did hear the news right after I took notes on this movie that Gaspar Yuliel is has passed away or got into a, some kind of ski boarding accident. That poor bastard, may he rest in peace. So. Let's see um, if he's good in here, but he'll probably be better in Moon Knight, which he's coming up with in the Marvel TV show. But let's see how he does in here. I'm just curious. We open with the young Hannibal Lecter playing with a girl that happens to be his sister, Misha, in 1944, as they're getting attacked by Germany, and his family gets out of the Lecter castle to go to a village for what reason? I don't quite understand. German soldier Vladis Skritua... Grutas, I don't know if I'm saying that right at all, played by Rice Eifens, gets some Jews out of the Lecter castle, and the Germans shoot Hannibal's family dead, and the Germans die from an airplane, and Hannibal saves Misha with some other Germans getaway with Vladis, and Rice Eifens with the terrible German accent is so unbearable, as it's a terrible performance, while Hannibal and Misha have now become orphans themselves and Hannibal tries to fight the Germans while in the custody of Vladis and does his best to keep Misha safe from the Germans as they watch Vladis eating something dead skinned in front of Hannibal and Misha and this opening was not exactly the greatest way to introduce Hannibal the cannibal lector and do I get what's happening or why no it's just a bunch of crap that just that doesn't make any fucking sense Eight years later, Hannibal is now a brief adult and is played by Gaspar Uliel as orphaned at the Electric Castle as he doesn't talk much but instead stabs an asshole with the fork on his hand and while well, having a nightmare about Misha while the asshole puts Hannibal in a cage for stabbing his hand. And my problem with this actor is he doesn't have the creepiness of Anthony Hopkins as this character become... Because I'm not afraid of him like I was with Hopkins. And as Hannibal, as he escapes the cage, he sets the traps from place to place, from Poland to Germany, to even, to even France. And the cinematography in this movie is just okay. It's not the greatest thing I, filming I've seen in any movie, nor is it the worst. Hannibal goes to the house of Lady Murasaki, Murasaki, played by Gong Li, as he tries to visit her husband, who died a year ago. And the acting is probably the worst acting I've seen in a Hannibal Lecter movie in my life. Hannibal slowly falls for Murasaki, but they have no chemistry. And I know Hannibal isn't going to end up with her by the end of the movie, be, not by a long shot. Am I the only one who's absolutely fucking bored with this movie? Because this because this is the movie that killed the series. And before they ever made it into a TV show, I must say, which I've never confessionably have seen. And I believe it after looking at how bad this movie is so far, Murasaki trains Hannibal as some martial arts. And I don't remember Hannibal Lecter ever, Lecter ever learning martial arts in any of the movies as he beats up on a fat man harassing Murasaki at the market, which is a problematic scene because I don't remember any of this shit from the other movies. Hannibal goes to the fat man and tries to make him apologize to Murasaki, but he refuses, and Hannibal cuts him up, and eventually killing the fat man while Inspector Popil, played by Dominic West, solving the case when Murasaki knows Hannibal killed him in one scene at the kitchen, it was just that obvious, while at night she finds his head on a plate when Hannibal enters the room with the sword he killed the fat man with, while Pol Pill takes him to the police station and answers questions on a lie detector, and his responses are vanilla, meaning he's not afraid, while having a peck able manners with the inspector as the fat man's head is found outside of the police station and Murasaki is angry at, at Hannibal. She gives him the silent treatment. And this is not what I want in a Hannibal Lecter origin story. Hannibal goes to med school to become a doctor we know of him today. 
And I wanted more scenes of that than the relationship between him and Murasaki. Or, or Popo. As the writing in this thing is the weakest thing about the movie. In a flashback, some soldiers see an abandoned Hannibal, which serves no purpose to the movie because he wakes up next scene, you know, and gets on a train to... Let me see if I'm saying this right. Min and... Mid... Hang on. Mid and Ninkai or something like that? I forgot the name of that place. In the Soviet Republic, as Vladis learns Hannibal is in town, and honestly, I'm dying with boredom, as this is a very boring film. It's a two-hour film that needed at least 15 minutes of editing. Edited out, and to be blunt... Nothing is really happening in this movie. I mean, there's nothing. There's thing. There's a thing I don't understand, but at the same time, I'm just very bored. And I don't think director Peter Weber gets the material right. Hannibal tortures a man that worked with Val for Vladis on a tree while tied up on him on a rope and singing a children's song until he dies. And I don't think this, that scene was well directed and well shot at all, and it's unacceptable for a movie about an origin story of Hannibal Lecter. I mean, Jesus. Inspector Popil finds the body while Murasaki comes by Hannibal's place and knows he's killing the men who killed Misha in the past as he learns they're in France and they go in lunch together. They go to lunch together as Hannibal offers one of the soldier's daughter a piece of candy and sings her a song while he has a bracelet that belonged to Misha before she died. He gives the father a note, and he goes to Vladis and tells him Hannibal was in town before he ever before he went to church that day. And Vladis tries to find the way to stop Hannibal from going after them, as they take pictures of Hannibal and Murasaki, while Popel visits Murasaki as he wants to find Vladis as he's a war criminal and is protecting Hannibal because she, like Hannibal, lost family during the war. And the movie is sometimes very unfocused at this point. I'm, I have at least 45 more minutes of movie left, and I'm starting to check out as of it as it's boring and completely dull, with no characters to relate, to relate with. And it doesn't really make me care, which is, which is a real problem. While well, Hannibal is torturing and killing someone well, that was trying to kill him, Popil visiting Hannibal while he wasn't working about someone who was killed in a cannibalistic way and wonders if Hannibal has done it and he goes back to the police station to get to put him back on a lie detector test while thinking about Misha's death and Popil makes a deal with Hannibal to Vladis, to find Vladis, and let Popil punish him, not Hannibal, of the murder of his sister. And at this point, I'm angry that this movie is bad, as I remembered it being while Murasaki asks him to bring Vladis to the authorities, but Hannibal declines and finds a way to get Vladis on his own, and this is not making sense at all. Hannibal goes to Vladis' place and is caught by his goons before trying to kill Vladis, and Hannibal is almost dead, but he blows up the steam and escapes, and they hold Murasaki hostage for a life for a life ransom. And this is a terrible idea, while the acting in this thing is horrible for damn sure. Hannibal goes to the man that ate his sister and asks for help and to give his daughter's life for a trade to Murasaki, as he calls his wife to check on the children as they're alive and decides to kill the motherfucker off after an attempt to trying to kill Hannibal. Honestly, I don't care anymore because this movie sucks balls. Hannibal goes to after Vladis and the other bastards who killed his sister as Vladis shoots Hannibal down, but not quite dead as he tortures Murasaki by kissing her until Hannibal cuts him in the leg and gets him down and stabs him in a star, a star of what kind. And I thought, what the fuck is that? Hannibal Mur tells Murasaka he loves her and bites off Vladis' nose. And Murasaki runs away from Hannibal and goes to Popiel. 
And she's led to believe Hannah Wool is dead, but he goes to Canada to kill off the final man who killed his sister. And this is the worst climax in, to a Hannibal Lecter movie ever told, as this is the worst movie I've seen of this series. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 1.3 out of 10. This is perhaps the worst in the Hannibal Lecter series of movies by far, as I was bored out of my fucking mind, and it blows my mind how boring it is. The acting is horrible, the shots are bombastically bad, and the script is really hard to follow, and it bored me half to fucking death. I'm very angry at the way the movie ex exists and was made, as this movie is a complete dog shit. And it's poorly directed, and this movie sucks balls. So please don't see this one. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for the Hannibal Lecter series. And until then, say goodbye, Clarice.